hello and welcome back to another exciting episode of Mav where we do everything outdoors. Today marks almost six months since the first time I went truck camping. Um, a lot has changed since then, but one thing that hasn't changed is that I sleep at Walmart. So today I thought it'd be cool to film a little, a little episode kind of getting back to my roots and uh, staying at a Walmart. So right now I'm actually living out of my truck full time. Um, staying at a Walmart isn't exactly out of the ordinary for me. This neighborhood looks pretty nice. Um, I think I might have to make a little bit of a stealth mission. I guess I'll have to see the Walmart first and if they allow camping, but uh, I think we'll find a way either way. So without further ado, let's find this Walmart and uh, see if we can get into bed for the night. All right, so after a day on the water, I'm a little gross and sweaty, so um, I'm stopping at the gym quick to take a shower. So the next time you guys are gonna see me is in the Walmart parking lot, which is gonna be right now. All right, yeah, I'm still wearing the same thing, just not wearing a hat, but I'm clean. Uh, get off my case, all right? I am at the most lavish Walmart I've seen in a while. Carlsbad Walmart, I don't know, this is a little south of Carlsbad. I don't know what the city name is, it's really bad, but correct me in the comment section below, I guess. Um, I haven't seen a Walmart this nice in a while. This whole city's really nice, like, I was just up in Carl's bed when I took that shower, and it was like, a really nice gym. Like, the nicest one that I've been to, and I've been to a few nice neighborhoods in LA. Wow, I'm really, I'm really like fixated on the word nice right now. It was really nice, guys, nice, nice, nice. It's a, <laughs> it's a very, very nice Walmart. Um, wow, can you tell how tired I am? I almost feel a little guilty for camping here. So I don't really know where to park. I'll probably end up parking like somewhere in that area. But um, right now I need some light in my truck because it is a freaking mess in the back. I guess it's, it's not horrible, but it's rather, I'll just, I'll just show you what's going on here. Wow, this is actually not as bad as I thought. So I have like a little corner here of like, this is clean clothes in my dirty clothes bag. This is like a drone case that doesn't have anything in it. And then like all these random cords and whatnot. Um, but on the bright side, I did get Velcro put on my Reflectix today. Look at this. Yeah. I don't have to worry about that falling down anymore. Now it's, all that's left to do is do something about this side. Also, I need to get a new one of these. Um, Grandma, I love your homemade quilt, but it's getting a little cold at night here now. If you guys have any recommendations for a cheap comforter that I can pick up, um, you know what, actually, I might, I might go check out Walmart and see if they got some options. Ah, oh, God, can I really? Do I buy a comforter from Walmart? I guess, I guess it wouldn't hurt to go see what they've got, at least. Nice, nice, nice. Everything's nice. <laughs> All right, so we're looking for a comforter, which is in just blankets and bath. Oh, here we go. Oh, these are expensive. No, I'm not spending $50 today. That's pretty thin. All right, so all that they really had in there was some overpriced comforters like the one that I already have and the one that I already have is homemade from my grandmother So why would I replace it with a Walmart comforter? Um, I think I'm gonna have to spend a little bit more money and get like a thicker like down comforter rather than like the The fake material that you find in a lot of cheaper ones. It's gonna suck, but There's no there's no sense in buying like a $50 comforter and like wasting money right now Maybe I can find one at thrift store or something. That'd be sick. Um, but I am getting pretty hungry so, luckily for me, I've got some dinner prepped in the back of the truck, and uh, I guess I'll see you guys there. All right, so I'm not really sure how well this Walmart takes to campers. It looks really, really nice. So we're gonna do a little bit of a stealth mission. I don't really want people to know that I'm camping in the back of my truck. If I can make it less obvious, that's awesome. Um, normally, I would take my dinner here and I would eat it outside of my truck or I'd eat it in the back with the lights on. 
but I don't really want people seeing me jump back there and I don't want to be sitting back there for too long. So what's on the menu for today is uh, some good old fashioned tuna poke, um, which I made yesterday. Um, the video is going to go up on that actually this weekend. So um, I did a little, little catch and cook on some uh, some skipjack. You know, prepped myself something for the first time in my life. Going to sit down and enjoy it. And I'm going to eat it with a fork because I'm too lazy right now. Sorry, chopsticks. There's too much rice. I can't do it. Can't eat the whole thing. It's okay. What time is it? Mm. 9.25. I'm an old man and I've been up since 6. It is definitely not my bedtime. Let's make this quick. Oh! Well, I would turn on my light right there, but I don't want people really knowing that I'm in here. Even though today's not my fault, and it's not anybody's fault, it's kind of wearing on me. <laughs> um, I think it's just a, been the last slow couple days of fishing. Um, I've been on two boats with really, really guys that know what they're doing. They, they know what they're doing. Um, and we can't get on fish, so I guess all you can really do is try and try again. Um, but I'm pretty tired. I'm gonna slide into bed here um, and shut off the lights and try to snooze in this Walmart parking lot. I think we got into the back of the truck without anybody noticing, so that's good. Um, but I'll keep you guys updated in the middle of the night if I get woken up by any knocks or people messing with me, so. So last night I slept really good, um, but I did wake up in the middle of the night to some really weird noises. So um, in the middle of the night, I saw a person, I heard like a bunch of like loud smacking noises. Like it sounded like somebody was like hitting like two by fours on the ground or something. Um, and I looked out of my window and there was a guy pushing a shopping cart with like a light in his hand. It walked right down this way and he went, back behind that building over there and then I heard him like hooting and hollering. I don't know what the heck was going on, but that was a little unexpected at this Walmart. Um, I guess I am in California, so that could have been a homeless guy, but who knows? It was just, it was just an odd situation. Um, but other than that, I slept great, um, didn't get bugged. This is what I do, or what I aim to do every morning. Um, not every morning do I make coffee, but it is nice. And then, nice fast breakfast. It's always some granola and Greek yogurt. So if you guys are new to truck camping, or like car camping, or just looking for a place to stay like when you're on the road and want to save some money, um, staying at a Walmart is definitely a good option. All right, so I'm gonna finish up making some coffee, finish up my breakfast, and get on the road so I can hopefully go catch a freaking fish. Um, if you guys like these truck camping episodes, let me know. If you guys have any ideas or what you want to see, do you guys like like the nature stuff more? Do you like urban truck camping like this one's going to be? Um, please let me know in the comment section below. I appreciate every single one of you for all your continued support. Um, it's because of all you that this channel is 
like hitting its peak right now. Well, it's hitting its peak for, but it's doing great. I thank you guys a lot, and I hope that you guys enjoy the content. I'm gonna be doing catch and cooks on this thing. I'm gonna be doing truck camping, and then sometimes I'm just gonna be cooking meals out of the truck. So let me know what you guys like in the comment section below. Until next time, my name's Maverick, and you're know the drill. Just keep on trucking. If it looks like a mackerel and it tastes like a mackerel, then it's probably a mackerel. <laughs> what the fuck are you saying?